10 mistakes most trumpet players make and how to fix them. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll be revealing a special bonus tip just for my most committed viewers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know down in the comments if you found these tips helpful. By the way, my name is Matt Brockman. I used to play in the US Army Band, and now I make trumpet content full time to help you become a better trumpet player. Now let's get started with our countdown. Number 10, not warming up properly. It's important to start your practice or performance with a proper warm up to avoid hurting your lips or straining your muscles. Take a few minutes to loosen up your lips or muscles with some easy long tones or lip slurs. It is important for trumpet players to warm up properly before playing, just as it is important for an athlete to warm up and stretch before a physical activity. When an athlete fails to warm up properly, they are more likely to suffer from muscle strains, pulls, and tears. Similarly, if a trumpet player fails to warm up properly, they are more likely to suffer from physical problems, such as lip fatigue, muscle tension, and even potentially damage to their instrument. Imagine trying to lift heavy weights without properly warming up or stretching first. The muscles may not be ready for the strain, leading to injury. The same is true for a trumpet player who's attempting to play difficult passages or high notes without properly warming up. The lips, tongue, and other muscles used in trumpet playing may not be ready for the demands being placed on them, leading to fatigue, tension, and possibly even injury. Proper warm-up routines can help prevent these problems by gradually increasing the demands on the muscles and building up their strength and endurance. This can lead to a more successful and enjoyable practice or performance, and can also help to prevent costly repairs or maintenance on the trumpet. In short, proper warm-up is crucial for the physical well-being of the trumpet player and the longevity of their instrument. Number nine, playing with incorrect posture. Good posture is essential for proper breathing and tone production on the trumpet. Make sure that you're standing up straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your instrument is held at a comfortable height. Playing the trumpet with incorrect posture can have negative impacts on the musician's playing ability and overall health. Just like a house needs a strong foundation to remain standing, the body needs proper posture in order to support the breath in the instrument. If the foundation is not solid, the house, or in this case the body, will not be able to to support the weight and pressure that's put on it. This can lead to physical problems such as muscle strain, back pain, and even respiratory problems. Additionally, playing with incorrect posture can affect the sound of the trumpet. If the body is not in proper alignment, it can hinder the airflow and impact the tone and projection of the instrument, which can also make it difficult for the musician to control and manipulate their sound. Think of it like a tree. If a tree is not planted in the ground properly, with a straight trunk and deep roots, it will not be able to withstand strong winds and storms. It will be prone to falling over and getting damaged. However, if the tree is planted properly and given the proper support, it will be able to stand tall and withstand any challenges that it may face. The same is true for a trumpet player's posture. A strong upright posture will allow the musician to have better control over their instrument and play with ease and freedom. Number eight, not practicing consistently. Consistency is the key when it comes to improving your trumpet playing. Make a practice schedule and stick to it to see the best results. Practicing inconsistently can be detrimental to a trumpet player's progress and development as a musician. Going back to the house analogy, it's similar to trying to build a house without that strong foundation. Just as a house needs strong foundation to support its structure, a trumpet player needs consistent practice to build a strong foundation of technique and musicality. Without a solid foundation, the player will struggle to progress and may even develop bad habits that are difficult to correct. Inconsistent practice can also make it difficult for a player to retain and build upon their skills. Imagine trying to learn a new language by only studying upon it a few times a week. It would be much more difficult to retain the information and make progress compared to studying consistently every day. The same concept applies to trumpet playing. Consistent practice allows for the player to build upon their skills and make steady progress over time. Overall, consistent practice is essential for trumpet players to develop a strong foundation of technique and musicality and to make steady progress as a musician. Without it, their progress may be slowed and they may struggle to improve. Number seven, not using a metronome. A metronome can help you improve your timing and rhythm. Practice with a metronome to ensure that you're playing in time with the music. Using a metronome is important to trumpet players because it helps them develop a sense of timing and rhythm. Just like a conductor helps keep an orchestra on track, a metronome helps the trumpet player stay in tempo and play in time with other musicians. Think of a metronome as a personal trainer for your timing and rhythm. Just as a personal trainer helps you improve your physical fitness and reach your goals, a metronome will help you improve your musical skills and become a more precise and confident player. Not using a metronome can lead to bad habits, such as rushing or dragging the tempo. These habits can be difficult to break and can negatively impact the overall quality of the music. Imagine trying to train for a marathon without a stopwatch or a pace setter. It would be difficult to gauge your progress and maintain a consistent speed throughout the race. The same is true for your trumpet playing. Without a metronome, it can be difficult to know if you're staying in time or if you're following behind. In conclusion, using a metronome is essential for trumpet players to develop their timing and rhythm skills and play at their best. It's like having a personal trainer to keep you on track so that you can reach your musical goals. Number six, not paying attention to tongue placement. Proper tongue placement is essential for clear articulation on the trumpet. Make sure that you're placing your tongue correctly on each note to ensure clear 
clear, crisp sound. Correct tongue placement is crucial for trumpet players to produce clear, precise notes and to control their sound. Imagine that the tongue is like a steering wheel of a car. If the steering wheel is not positioned properly, the car will not drive straight and it will veer off course. Similarly, if the tongue is not placed correctly when playing the trumpet, the airflow through the instrument will be disrupted, leading to poor intonation and poor tone quality. Proper tongue placement allows the player to articulate notes and phrases cleanly and accurately, and it is a key factor in developing a good technique. Ignoring tongue placement can lead to bad habits and hinder a trumpet player's overall musicianship. In short, tongue placement is essential for trumpet players to produce a good sound and play with control and precision, just like a steering wheel is essential for a car to drive straight and stay on course. Number five, not listening to recordings. Listening to recordings of other trumpet players can help you improve your own playing. Pay attention to their tone, phrasing, and technique and see what you can learn from them. Listening to recordings is an important part of a trumpet player's musical education. Just as a student who is learning to read would benefit from reading a variety of texts, a trumpet player can benefit from listening to a variety of recordings. A trumpet player who only listens to their own playing will only have experience with their own sound and style. This may limit their ability to adapt to different musical situations. On the other hand, a trumpet player who listens to a wide range of recordings will be exposed to a variety of different playing styles, techniques, and musical contexts. They will be better equipped to handle whatever musical challenges come their way. In short, listening to recordings is an important part of a trumpet player's musical education. It allows them to expand their musical horizons and become more versatile and adaptable musicians. Number four, not paying attention to dynamics. Dynamic contrast is an important aspect of music. Practice playing at different volumes to add expression to your playing. It is a mistake for trumpet players to not pay attention to dynamics, because dynamics play a crucial role in conveying the emotion and intent in a piece of music. Imagine a story being told without any variation of the speaker's tone or volume. It would be difficult to follow and it would lack any depth or emotion. The same is true for music. Think of dynamics as the colors of a painting. Just as a painter uses different shades and hues to add emotion and depth to a painting, a musician uses dynamics to add expression and feeling to a piece of music. A sudden crescendo can convey excitement and intensity, while a gradual day crescendo can convey sadness and longing. But without the use of dynamics, the music would be flat and one-dimensional. In addition to conveying emotion, dynamics also help to shape the structure of a piece of music. They can indicate changes in mood or highlight important themes and melodies. Ignoring dynamics can make it difficult for the listener to follow the structure of the piece and can diminish the overall impact of the music. In short, paying attention to the dynamics is essential for trumpet players and all musicians to effectively communicate the emotion and intent of the music and to shape the structure of a piece. Number three, not paying attention to your embouchure. Your embouchure, or the way that you shape your lips or mouth while playing, can greatly affect your tone. Make sure that you're using a consistent embouchure to produce a consistent tone. A trumpet's embouchure is the way that they shape their lips and mouth in order to play the instrument. It's similar to the grip of a golf club where the stance and bowling. Just as a golfer must pay attention to their grip in order to hit the ball accurately and consistently, and a bowler needs to pay attention to their stance in order to throw their ball with accuracy and control, a trumpet player must pay attention to their embouchure in order to produce a clear and resonant sound and to play with good intonation. Ignoring the importance of their embouchure can lead to a range of problems for the trumpet player, including difficulty in producing a full and rich tone, difficulty in playing in tune, and even physical discomfort or injury. Just as a golfer who has a poor grip will struggle to make good shots, or a bowler who has a poor stance will struggle to throw the ball with accuracy and power. A trumpet player who has a poor embouchure will struggle to create a good sound and to play with good technique. In short, a trumpet player's embouchure is a crucial aspect of their playing, and ignoring it can lead to serious problems, and their inability to produce a good sound and to play the instrument effectively. It's therefore essential that trumpet players pay close attention to their embouchure and work to develop a strong, consistent, and comfortable way of playing. In fact, the reason that most trumpet players overblow is because their embouchure isn't optimized. Number two, blaming your gear before your technique. It's easy to blame your gear when you're not happy with your playing, but the truth is that the most important factor in your sound is your own technique. Make sure you're focusing on improving your playing before you start to upgrade your gear. It is common for trumpet players to blame their gear when they're having difficulty with playing, whether it be tone, intonation, or range. However, it's important to understand that gear is merely a tool, and it is the player's technique that ultimately determines the quality of their sound. Imagine a carpenter trying to build a house with a hammer that's not perfectly balanced. The hammer may make the job more difficult, but it's the carpenter's skill and technique that will ultimately determine the quality of their work. And the same is true for the trumpet player. Even with the best gear, if the player lacks the proper technique, their playing will suffer. On the other hand, a player with strong technique will be able to produce a good sound even with less than ideal gear. Therefore, it is a mistake for trumpet players to blame their own gear before they consider their own technique. It is important for trumpet players to develop their technique and skills first, and then worry about the gear later. This will ultimately lead to better overall performance and enjoyment of the instrument. Number one, using more air. Proper breath control is essential for good trumpet playing. Using more air when encountering problems as a trumpet player is 
is a common mistake that many beginners make. This is because they believe that by blowing harder, they will be able to produce a stronger and more controlled sound. However, this is not the case. Imagine trying to blow up a balloon by blowing harder and harder. At a certain point, the balloon is going to become too full and will burst. The same thing happens when a trumpet player uses too much air. The excess air causes the lips to vibrate too widely, resulting in a loss of a control and a poor quality of sound. The key to producing a good sound on the trumpet is to use just the right amount of air. Not too little and not too much. This requires a balance of air and muscle control, as well as proper technique. By learning to use the right amount of air and focusing on proper technique, trumpet players can avoid the common mistake of using too much air and produces a strong and controlled sound. If you want a more thorough explanation of why I think use more air is bad language for trumpet players, I made a free 45 minute masterclass all about it. Link is in the description. So there you have it, 10 mistakes that most trumpet players make and how to fix them. I hope you found these tips helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more trumpet content. And if you have any other tips for trumpet players, let us know down in the comments below. Now for a special bonus tip, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better you'll become. So make sure that you put in the time and the effort to improve your trumpet playing. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, check out this next video on 10 hacks to improve your trumpet endurance. See you on the next one. Have a great day.